This story happened not too long ago, in the reign of William and Isolde. And it was not too very far away, in the northern portion of the Midlands, right next to the great inland sea known as Michigan. <laughs> there was a shire, still is a shire, of Raven's Lake, and it was having a demo. Now there are stories of boy meets girl, boy wins girl, boy wins kingdom. I met a boy there, and he was a boy, a sweet boy. His name was Andreas, and he came to learn about our kingdom because he had never been part of the kingdom before. He was a stranger, and he grew to love our kingdom. We told him about the fighting that happened and how you became king, mighty fighter, king of the dragon. Yes. But we also taught him about embroidery, about food, about weaving, about food. <laughs> about wonderful banners that flew in the wind, and about food. food. <laughs> and he stayed with us. Noble, noble boy, he stayed with us. And I said to myself, but he is but a boy. And then I embarked on the great, dangerous, perilous activity of dancing, <gasps> and was gravely injured. Oh. And so my dancing card was thusly revoked. <laughs> And I went to sit down because I was forced to. And I was there nursing my injury, my knee, my leg, and my pride. Aww. And Andreas came to me, carrying a chair as big as he was, sets it in front of me and says, here, put up your leg. And then he says to me, would you like anything? And I thought, oh, that is very sweet. He got me water. He got me things I didn't need, and what could I tell him because it was so sweet and chivalrous. So I saw in him valor. I saw in him kindness. I saw in him a willing to learn, and I saw in him the greatest chivalry I have ever seen. He was running around because he was yet a boy, and he saw the noble banners, and it struck him that he would lay them low. And I said to him, please, Andreas, do not do that because these are the banners of our shire, of our region, and of course, do not, do not fell the dragon. That is our king's. He looks at me and says, ha, 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 don't worry. I will be king. <laughs> Bold claim, little one. <laughs> no, I will defeat all comers. I am king of the mid-realm. Oh. All right. <laughs> as William was not there, I did not see that it was fit and kind to disabuse him of this notion. So he declared himself mightily king of the mid-realm, and then he put his arm around my shoulder. And he said, you are my princess. Aww. That was in the reign of William and Isolde. And then was in the reign of Andreas the Lonely. But... <laughs> Kings change and seasons turn, thank you, Master John. <laughs> and there was a coronation. And I realized that I am queen of the mid-realm by right of 11-year-old. <laughs> and I ask you, please, do not tell Lucasen, and please do not. Tell Kellogg. <laughs>